Hello everyone and welcome back to Fable Heyman Total War Warhammer 2 with Grom the Punch. We resume where we left things off last time and as promised, we begin today with the siege of the Temple of Skulls against the Lizard Fing Krokka. always wins. Remember it! Grom always wins. This is the capital of this, the last defenders, the lizard thing sent by Mazda Mundi himself to hold the southern desert, so whatever the heck this is called. So we're going to kill him. Tis the plan. I also do this episode want to take a look at our food supply because it's... Supply is not the correct word. The food that we are currently using, that needs to be changed. It's kind of a utility-ish sort of thingy ma -boober, and I really don't care anymore, because I'm here to kill. Campaign met movement range? Bah! Recruitment rank? Bah! We're here to slay. We have literally no other purpose. Also, we have a friend, a new friend, joining us. We're getting a name, but uh, he'll be introduced soon, TM. And we need to build another shaman hut. Because we have the weeboar of Mork. So now we need... Or do we have Gork? It's appropriate that I can't remember. That's very lore appropriate. <laughs> so we need the other one is basically what I'm getting at. Also, I did this incorrectly. I should have sent Grom in first because he regenerates. Ah, oh, well. You do something wrong, you do something right. Also, I would just like to say, I know that this series does not get anywhere near as much support as our official, official isn't the right word, as our main series of Erratus, Lord of the Dead. But for those of you that enjoy Warhammer, thank you. I actually have a huge rant, like a monumentous rant. And uh, if I don't rant now, when am I ever going to rant, really? To you, my most devoted watchers. Or, you know, those of you that just don't like Atlantis, which is fine. Everyone likes the games they like. Everyone dislikes the games they dislike. It's fair. I can't stand Fortnite. And my opinion is one against... How many freaking players does that game have? A bazillion? You get the point. So, uh... I'm just going to send these guys in. I really don't care. Come on in, lads. Get in here, lads. We got work to do. Definitely itchy nuisance. Like right here. So my rants, because now is the appropriate time while we're fighting it out. While we duke it out, Duck right in. Oh, we need this too. Yes. Let's find the rogue idol. Pop this, pop this, do all the things. We have so many buttons to press. And it's beautiful. We could even pop the bad moon, but I don't think we need to. So, my rant is that the way the YouTube algorithm works, and if you weren't aware, you're probably going to be seething mad at this, because <laughs> I am. The way the YouTube algorithm works is it notices... It will send out videos, right? Well, it's supposed to. It hasn't done that for, like, literally ages. You guys need to come in here and do something. It will send out videos, and it will notice that... Say, for example, you're a huge fan of Arantis, which... Honestly, who isn't? Even though I just said it was okay if you weren't, which it is. If you're a huge fan of Arantis, but... Actually, let's turn on setting. Say you're a huge fan of my Total War series, which doesn't get as much uh, love as it probably should. I'll be the first to admit that. From me. <laughs> but uh, you aren't a fan of the Aratus series. It will see... I'm just spamming this on Crocker. I hope you're ready, Crocker. Time for the war. It will see that you really enjoy watching Total War. But it will notice that you really dislike watching Erratus. And by dislike, I mean you just don't watch it. You just don't click on the videos. And so the YouTube algorithm, in its infinite wisdom, 
will go, huh, this must mean they don't like Fableheim anymore. So what we're gonna do is just not show you their videos. So this may not apply to some of you who like check subscriber feed or go straight to the channel of which I appreciate. But for those that just look at like the recommended page, they'll see my channel less, which is bull. That shouldn't happen. I think that's really dumb. So eventually, as people just watch Erratus or just watch Total War, they'll see less of the one that they want to see because they won't watch the other one. It's very sad. Not really because I care about, you know, people watching both, just because it incentivizes a... Toxic isn't the correct word, but it incentivizes YouTubers to do one thing. And one of my fears for the channel is for me to be stuck playing one game. Not that I don't love Total War, not that I don't love Erratus, but variety is the spice of life, my friends. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. How are these not dead yet? So, uh... That's why I tried to play a number of things. In fact, right now I'm looking for other games to play for when we finish the Eternal Harvest series for Erratus to uh, make as the new main game. You know, until the DLC comes out anyway. Because then I'm going to hit that DLC real hard. Oh, they have one of these. The fishy tittle muncher. I have a job for you. So yeah, there's my rant. Sorry it was the first thing you guys heard today. <laughs> and not all of the interesting lore that I have to offer. Or my grand appreciation of you watching the series. I really do appreciate it. Could you please go fight? And not just stand there. I know that you're adorable. But please go fight. And I do appreciate everyone that does enjoy this series. This has a special place in my heart. It's really the first Total War game I've ever really taken any interest in whatsoever. So, you know. And it birthed my love for the Three Kingdoms. I don't know if I could ever go back and play an older one, though. <laughs> oh, look, we can walk again. How long has that been there? Probably a while. It's fine. This is a city battle, so once we just win, we, uh, you know, we kind of just go. It's go time. Here we go. As they would say. And now I've completely lost my train of thought. It was there. It's just gone now. I was so focused on the rant. There's just more buttons for me to press. I think I've mentioned this before, but there was a a prominent Total War YouTuber. Oh, before I talk about that. Like, the, the algorithm and the way that it works incentivizes players to play one game. So much so that there are YouTubers out there who their main channel becomes dedicated to a single game. Like, for example, League of Legends is a popular theme to do this. And they'll make a second channel to play variety games on. And that hurts my soul. That hurts me on, like, a fundamental level. That feels like a fundamental failure of, of YouTube, you know? But who knows? Maybe, maybe it's wildly successful and I don't know what I'm talking about. That's always a possibility. I just get tilted at the algorithm. Ooh. I want this, don't I? Yeah, I do. I want that 28k. So it's worth remembering that we have now occupied our WA target. So in 12 turns, if we still control the Temple of Skulls, we go me and go and spot. Wait, isn't sacking something supposed to bring it down a rank? Why is this a little five? Ooh, already having giants. Already having Arachnorok spiders. Uh-oh. Uh, so what we need here, we need defenses. And we need another Shaman's Hut because we have the weird boar. 
of Gork to pick up. We probably want the boss's tent because this territory is not friendly to us in the slightest. And I think we're also going to build... Growth building probably useful, huh? You know, we'll destroy this gold building and get the growth building in instead. So we'll build the... this. Because I want to upgrade it to see if we can trigger my ability to get the big boar... What are they even called? The black orc? Big boys? They have such a weird name. It's probably Black Orc Big Boys. Black Orc Big Boss. Excuse me. Dada Boss. Why do you look different than that one? The Grizzly Borg Jenna. Why do you look different? Hello? Am I insane? Wait, they all look different. This, these two are mild differences, but this one's significant difference. To be honest, another one of these wouldn't really hurt. And knowledgeable is a great... Okay. She does look different. Well, what do you know? So what do you do? I mean, when you're not, you know, using dark magic. What's steel tech? Do we even want to use steel tech? Is that a thing we should look into? Maybe. Stealing tech is awesome. Anyway, we definitely want the this one. The biggest and the strongest. That's Grom. And for the fishy tittle muncher, we want to continue. This looks good. More health. For spiked, we have, I guess, oh, okay, what do we have? Gork will fix it. We could use Night Shroud to do some, like, weird flanking thingy. It sounds like a lot of work. All right, Gork will fix it. We can always use that to slow down when we encounter, like, flying units. Because I imagine... We're going to find a few of them. We'll do that. We have only 6.7k after that marvelous fight. After upgrading our treasure trove. So upgrade out Calabat and call it a day. Actually, what are you doing, Kasabar? Kasabar upgrading this to try and get to the Arachnarak. Spiders, that should be fine. Um, actually, do you need... You don't need Arachnorok spiders if we're doing that. I mean, in theory, it's nifty that you can recruit them here, but this doesn't really do anything. Okay. We'll delete this. Delete, which means I can now repair this. Actually, I should get the public order. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Tis the plan. Now we have more money. Money! Beautiful. Calculated, even. So the name for our new goblin. I was racking my brain literally for days to try and remember what my old name was in Warhammer Online. And I still don't actually remember. But a name that I used quite a bit a while, a few years ago was Sekasorto, which in Finnish means mayhem or pandemonium, depending on how you wish to translate it. I think the translation, the other translation for mayhem has a lot of umlauts in it. Epiarstus. Epiarstus? Close to that. So uh, we aren't using that one. Seca Sorto is good. And then I uh, gave him the title The Undying because that's one of my favorite WoW titles. Uh, World of Warcraft titles, which I do have, by the way. It was, a, it's a legacy title, which means you can't get it anymore. And it was for completing all the achievements in, no wait. Was it the achievements? No, that was, was it? I think it was for completing Next Rama's 10 Man without anyone dying. Which, who? The Wrath of Lich King Next Rama's, not the, not the scary Next Rama's in vanilla. Which, uh, one of the bosses was literally called The Dance, because the floor was, like, divided into these four sections, and it would explode. 
dealing heinous amounts of Damahe. So, uh, it was not always easy to get everyone to coordinate and not absolutely die on that fight. Hello, Clan Moors. You're about to find a very terrifying opponent, my friends. So I think that's everything I wanted to talk about right away. I mean, I got distracted by a rant. But, you know, rant aside, I feel pretty satisfied with what we've what I've discussed. I can't actually... The only way to increase the garrison here is to upgrade the tree, right? Yee. And this tree doesn't do jack for me. I literally just picked it up so that so, no one else can have it. That's it. You are special, Sekasorto. And Arachnik is down here. Still trying to heal. You can't both be special. Well, I guess you can. Ooh, Zlatlan has no defenders. Okay. This magic is real. You're real. I'm real. We're all real. Are we? Are we real? That's not a question I really want to ask right now. <laughs> so the Grizzly Bog Turner also needs a name, but I am... Not well-versed in trolls. At all. A giant could be fun, though. That could be something interesting. I bet we still can't have trade with anyone. We're also at war with the... Nagaron for some reason. They said to declare war on us. The point is... I feel like I tell the story every... I forgot about you. <laughs> I feel like I tell the story every time, but in Warhammer Online... No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. Ooh, what? Where am I? You've got to be kidding me. I have no idea where this is. The map moved. If... They are weighing the Saris specialists really heavily, aren't they? Like, literally, all I have to do to win this is break off these two units and then just surround them. Okay, I'm going to try and win this. I'm probably not going to be able to, but we'll try. Um, in Warhammer Online, I played as the Forces of Destruction, because of course I did. And it was a tentative, probably non-canonical alliance between the Forces of Chaos, the Dark Elves, the Druki, and the Greenskins. And there was a green-skinned black orc in the island of Nagara. Well, the island of Ulthuan, which is where the Dark Elves were assaulting. Because, of course, they were. And if you began as a Dark Elf assaulting Ulthuan, you, you would talk to this elf, or this black orc, and he had a voice-acted line. I think it was just one voice-acted line. And it was... Weezy, help them poor dead gets. So now we them. And that has stuck in my head ever since. Why? Not sure. But I've loved it ever since I heard it. Literal genius. I guess we'll try and shoot down the unit that doesn't have spears. And we'll try and wolf break this unit. I'm not sure why the red, the crested skink chief is so far away, but you know what? We'll go ahead and take it. So since, since I now have a lovely fight of me trying to deal with stuff and things, I might as well take this opportunity to tell another story. Love stories. Um, I'm gonna be cheesy, by the way. It's time for cheese. But that story is, um... <laughs> get absolutely wrecked. You little shits. Um, the Greenskins, as has been pointed out in the comments of the last video, they were... In Warhammer 40k, I was talking about how they come from fungi. Uh, which is true. 
But in Warhammer 40k, they were created by a long time ago by the old ones, which are kind of like Chthonic deities, meaning like gods of the land or something. Uh, Chthonic deities that were trying to prevent the Necrons, which are kind of like sci-fi undead. They were doing something that I can't remember. It was like devouring the gods or something. They served these other gods called the Catan, I think. And they were doing blasphemous things, and obviously the old ones didn't like that. So... What they decided to do is they created this group of basically bioweapons that endlessly adapted. So the greenskins can fight any enemy, and as they fight said any enemy, they grow stronger and stronger and more adapt at killing whatever enemy. And uh, this whole repeat charging thing is not working horribly well. And the fantasy... I was curious about what the fantasy version was, because... Well, I just was. I didn't know what it was. And it's actually something quite similar. They don't actually know what created the greenskins in fantasy lore. But it's suspected to be long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. And no. Long ago, either by the old ones, which are basically what the lizards worship the wizard things and uh, I'm totally losing this battle by the way um, <laughs> the old ones can't shoot that one so I'll shoot this one uh, the lizard thing or the old ones accidentally they think created the I'm definitely losing this but I guess I'll keep shooting you're not gonna shoot they're thinking about shooting that's fair. Um, so the the old ones accidentally creating these spores that spawned the yeah this is not going well that spawned the green skins or an asteroid type thing fell to the planet long ago containing these spores that uh, created the green skins. Ooh, maybe I have a chance. I doubt it. Like, I got to be pretty lucky for this to work. And I was reading that, I'm like, wait, isn't this the plot of Charlotte? Spoiler alert, it is. I wad, but I'm not sure if that's going to help. An interesting thing about the... Yeah, they're getting absolutely wrecked. The Orc Era Boys is they actually have... Not good, but decent melee combatant stats. I might be able to shoot this guy down. Is it possible to win by them having, like, freaking arm army loss penalty? Ooh, I didn't mean for that. Army loss penalties? No. Okay. I figured. The heroes and lords of the lizards are so very strong. But I mean, I gave it my best shot, right? We tried. Also, I figured out that this is one of the newer areas we took over. So Grom is literally just going to turn around, smack them, and kill them. That's kind of the plan. I also got to tell a fun story. But basically, the TLDR of that is that the greenskins were a mistake. <laughs> And they're literally just unstoppable machines. The comments um, that I got, I'm sorry, I can't remember who left it, said that they were literally only destroyed, awakened. Grom can hardly see you past Grom's belly. Please don't go to war with me. A defensive alliance? Whoa, Arkin. Though the stain of this will be upon my soul for eternity. <laughs> Don't sound so reluctant. Uh, for a Lich King, you sure don't know how to be diplomatic. 
mean, is, was Arkin ever actually diplomatic? I don't think so. I don't think that was a thing. Of the Age of Discovery. How much you want to bet? No trade. Wait, is the Age of Discovery not kicked in yet? There's no way these are the only factions that have control of a port. There's no way. Maybe it'll kick in next turn. We do control. Yeah, we hold three ports, actually. We'll see what happens. Kasabar. Arak and Arak. Bring it to me. So now we have to decide what uh, Sekasorto is doing. I'm actually going to bring him into the city. There's really no benefit for doing that. I just want to do it. Just so we're all completely clear. Hi, Grom. What do we have? Oh, yeah, loot the carcass. Aww. I was hoping that would be challenging. Hmm. Wait, why is that going to take two turns? It's not. You lied to me. Yes, yeah, sod. We're going to get hard to hit. Give us some more melee defense. And, um... Food. So we presently have the nuggets and slime. Now, I believe our current request from What's-Her-Face, the hag merchant, is... Fishy chunks. Yeah. We presently have no fish. To obtain more fish, we basically just need to sail the sea, whatever the heck that means. We can't get the goldfish from sacking an empire settlement. We could go find a Norskin settlement. There are two that I can think of in this map. Three. But they're really far away. This is basically us going to war with the Chink. Bretonia doesn't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure the Tomb Kings have killed all the Bretonians. And... We just gotta get lucky for that one. Great. So I want something offensive. Very offensive. Get some meh. Meh. Is this the one that gives... Anti-infantry. I want that. Although, to be fair, I do really like the explosive arrows. It's just so obnoxiously loud. Um, this is... Good. We'll hold... Actually, we're gonna hold this, because when the wall runs out... <laughs> when the wall runs out... When the wall runs out, we are definitely gonna need that, probably. Pick up the glowing shrooms, because... You know how many buttons I like pressing. I love pressing buttons. Actually, we probably want recruitment stuff still, don't we? We're about to recruit a bunch. Probably a good idea, huh? How do I get this? Against any army containing six limbed centaur like creatures. Probably have to buy this, huh? Okay. So we need recruitment. Frenzy. Recruit any Night Goblin fanatics. Sign me the. F okay. We're going to hold on creating a thing because I want that. I want Frenzy on all of my units. So next turn, we'll actually recruit some fanatics for Sekasorto, the Undying, who may have just become my favorite. What's your passive trait again? Are you good? That's not bad. Remember, we are going to give him the spider rank cavern. Spider. The Arachnarok Spider Catchweb Spider Shrine. So, uh, he will be in melee, where armor and melee resistance will be useful. Uh, we just did a siege against the Lizard Things. So go ahead and claim this victory. Once again, we're going to sack and claim. Zlatlan is actually more useful than it, the Temple of Skulls, because it has da -da -da -da, a diamond. Ooh, your growth is sh way worse. 
But don't worry. Arachnic will oversee your growth, I'm sure. Nastier squigs. Meh. 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 Do I just cap the negative glare? Uh, we have the weird boy of mook. So we need the weird boy of gork. Oh, Nagarond, what up? What up, pointy heads? A stabba. Stab. Hate Skaven. No one really likes Skaven, and if they say otherwise, they're lying. This one, however, hates them with every ounce of their being. That was actually impressive. I'm actually impressed by my own voice act. Should I be? Huh. I don't know. Oh, they didn't take this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Whatever, we have gold to spare. Do -do -do -do. I'm gonna go ahead and assault. Well, okay. Good job. But she should... She's not gonna come back, is she? No. That was a shame, because she was a good one. Mushroom addict Addicted is actually not bad, though. Because we will be using a lot of goblins. And by a lot, I mean a lot. A lot, a lot. More goblins all the time. Actually, don't do this. We're five turns away from being level five. From being capped. I guess I can finally get this. That way, Sekasorto can take one step and then go recruit a giant. Do that. Do do do. Spending all of my money. Make use of it, please. The Laka is still a few points away. Quoxital. Okay. Wait. Why are you cheaper? Huh. Well, don't know. Don't know. And really don't care. We have 10 turns left before the Temple of Skulls becomes ours. And we will actually get the bigger trophy from this. So that will open up some of our special recruitment and give us some random buff. It seems to be that the buff is dependent entirely on the race, which would be pretty nifty. Oi, boss! The big thinking is complete! Thank you. Thank you, me. Unfortunately, I do think I need to get Unglock the Terrible. Let's get that. He's a unique uh, hero, or lord, very much like Rachmik Spiderclaw. But we probably aren't going to use him. Probably not. I guess we'll just cap Gork will fix it. Wait. There aren't Skaven here? You what? I was absolutely convinced that there would be Skaven here. Oops, alarm. Grom is back! Sorry about that. Usually, I try to record uninterrupted, but uh, sometimes that is not permitted. I'm going to go ahead and recruit one fanatic. Hmm. Why is the global recruitment pool way better than the local recruitment pool? That's funny. So the Goblin Fanatics have exactly the same stats as the non-Fanatics, but they have the item. The Uber item. So recruit one of them 
to we'll have to wait two turns, but I'm okay waiting because we're also waiting for the Arachnorok Shrine. So we'll recruit them to uh, trigger the ingredient that we need. Just keep spying on them. Uh, trigger the recruitment that the blah, 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 the ingredient that we require to uh, do the thing. I guess specialist, just in case we decide to do something with you. So we have found the Awakened. Uh, there should be more undead and or Norskins over here. Hmm, Norskins look to be dead. D.E.D. -E dead. No trade. No trade. Seriously? Really? What does it say when I try to trade with the Vampire Coast? Cannot trade. This faction does not trade. You what, mate? Wait. Do green screens not trade? Huh. I'm still thinking about the whole trading thing. They probably don't. By the way, the Skaven units from um, Warlock and the... What was it called? Prophet? Prophet and the Warlock? They're so powerful. In, specifically... Yeah, yeah we lost it. I know a guy. He's pretty horrible. Um... Wow, words and things. It's, they're pretty good in the auto resolve. Like the auto resolve weighs so heavily in their favor. So, um, it's worth remembering. Here we go. One of these days, I don't actually know if it would be a DMC copyright. It probably is, right? We definitely won't be on to counting. Oh, I want this really quick, too. Uh, we don't really have a whole bunch of rogue idols yet. We'll grab Beyond Counting. There's a song. I've mentioned it briefly before. In, um... Grim Armada? Is that what it's called? Armada something. Which is basically a Warhammer 40k game. Uh, based in... Is that what I want? I just clicked on it. Looks good to me. <laughs> um, Worm 40k game that's about space battles. And it's incredibly interesting to watch. But I have literally negative interest to play it. So. I'm grabbing this for money. Let's raid the curve, boys. We got ourselves a proper fight! Uh, so basically, it's really, it's a super interesting game. It has a ton, if not all of the Warhammer 40k races, and a bunch of like factions within them. It's really intricate, and I like it a lot. But like I said, I like watching it a lot. And, uh, I don't even know if it's fun. I don't know if it's fun. Maybe it is. But, uh... The reason I mentioned it is because... From the first one, I believe. The second one is out. It's been out for a little bit. From the first one, I'm pretty sure, the green skins, which exist in the 40k lore, have a... <laughs> They have a song. Could you call it a song? A chant? A battle cry. That seems more appropriate. Uh, called, here we go! And it's literally them just like hyping themselves up to uh, be all piratey, space piratey, and freaking awesome. I don't think it's any good. I probably should go around. I don't think it's any there any good, but the green skins are definitely the most hilarious to play. 
or watch. Because they have just, it's literally like these giant asteroid rocks. <laughs> called, I think they're literally just called rocks as well. And they just, they just put lasers on top of it, because why not? And you literally just throw them into the enemy army. Because they have a significant amount, I need to keep moving, a significant amount of, what do they even call it, charge damage? Barge damage? Ram? Ramming damage? You basically just throw the rock into other things. Uh, this could be really dangerous. But, you know, that's never stopped me before. Jake that bag. By the way, usually not a good idea to um, be peer pressured, but I think that's literally the entirety of Greenskin society. So, I suppose it is worth mentioning, at least once, that Greenskins are really not advanced at all. And the reason is largely because They live in, it's not feudal, that's not the correct word, but they live in a society of conflict. And I suppose people fear, by people I mean fake people, fear that if they ever did find a way to be like civilized and not constantly struggle for the smallest modicum of power increases, that there would be actual legitimate threats to all society, to the entire world. So that's a worth an interesting thought. Also, this is a really sloppy fight, because I'm not paying attention at all. But hey. Rachnik is here to do something. What exactly? Not sure. Here we go! Wrong one. Um, give it to the Gabos. Here we go! That's the right one. Keep shooting, please. Or keep moving, please. Uh, you need to keep running. So I put these guys in melee stance specifically to kill the cannons. And good job, they killed the mortars. So now, don't be in melee stance and run. They might have actually killed them. But don't worry. There's more where that came from. As expected, the spiky rollers are doing well. And we're kind of just running over everything because I don't care at all. Those are archers I just put that on, because as previously stated, I don't care at all. The wood boar. Can't really fight that, if I were to guess. So uh, we're not gonna try, but this'll work. Okay, the Hammer of Gork has decided to weigh in on the measure. Get it? Weigh in? With a rock? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. Do I ever have not dumb jokes, though? That's the real question. 108 kills. 148 kills. The Death Guard, by the way, in case you're unfamiliar with the Vampire Coast, I wouldn't blame you. The Death Guard are the late game frontliners. And the terrifying thing about them is they have something called the Hunger, which is a passive ability that heals them each time they attack. So these anti-infantry versions of the Death Guard that just chop you up and heal while they're chopping you up are pretty terrifying. So it's worth shooting them down. Oh, 25 winds of magic. Seca Sorto, what have you found? I do need to protect Slotland, though. So we'll come back this way, and then we'll jump around. Not the hype song, just, you know, jump around to get back over here and stop the Skaven from doing something very annoying. Because trust me, I'm sure they're plotting on it. The tribe's ready. You can trust the Skaven to always try and do something very annoying. It's like in their genes. Do they have genes? 
if I were to guess, they're just birthed from huge broods. Hmm. I guess we'll go with... We might as well just start making you a combatant now, Stabba. You're pretty good at stabbing people on the map. Let's make you better at stabbing people in... Not the map. Away. So where do I think I can find friends? I don't know. If I can't trade, there's really no point. How much are you costing me? Not that. Uh, this one. Wait, where do I find out where your upkeep is? Oh, right here. 163. That's not too bad. It's not bad enough to kill you. I mean... Dismiss you. Now. But if you think that Grom wouldn't instantly kill someone... That was costing him too much money. <laughs> a bit naive there, aren't you? So who wants the Book of Asher? We could probably use it here. For Sekestor, though. We do have the most magic with Grom, though. Do you guys have everything? As much as I like Sekestor, though, and I've given him a name worthy of my legacy... Yeah, that'll work. You can have it. Sure thing. Wait, no, that was Arachnic. This is Sekisorto. Maybe Sekisorto should have it because he doesn't really have anything else. Chum shield, missile parry. Some basic stuff. For a growing lad. You can have that. I'll give you the... You can have the Book of Asher. Also, you're going to get the weird boy soon. Here we go. Knowledgeable. I love map. Knowledgeable. So we have... I can never remember. The weird boy amok. He's way the work, Nick. It's the weird boy of gawk. He's not going to be. It's appropriate that Gork is with Sekasorto. Weird boy. A Gork. It's so weird. <laughs> Saying it like that. Yes. Come. More magic. Can you even call this magic? Actually, I think the actual canonical, real, true answer is no, you can't. Believe it or not. Because I was told, I think it was by Zagger. I haven't seen Zagger in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Um, I believe the canonical answer for that is that the <laughs> green skins are not connected to the winds of magic. I'm going to get rid of this one. We should be fine. We have plus eight. Which is how magic happens, as you might guess. Which is why they cannot be corrupted by chaos in this version, the fantasy version. I think in 40k, let me see. I think that's true in 40k as well. It's just that we have two new ingredients. Ah, yes, because we have the things. We can do the thing that we wanted to do. Me. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do you have the stuff too? Yeah. Can you imagine me clicking my tongue in displeasure at a fellow night goblin? Hurts me so. So we'll be upgrading this soon to see if we can actually get the great, the black orc big boss. I'm thinking of doing a strategy. It's a, it's a bold strat. Hey, Sneaky stabbist. In the unlikely event that the target doesn't see him coming, they can expect to be unceremoniously shaved to death. It was incredibly challenging reading that in that accent. Because there were bigger words than a greenskin would know. <laughs> and they were spelled correctly. What am I supposed to do with that? Also, I feel like I had at least two trains of thoughts going. And now I don't remember at all. But, um... 
What if I go into the water? Yeah. We're fully replenished. Where? Okay. We'll let them take Serpent Coast. So I'm going to disband that. We'll let them take it, and then we'll kill them there. That seems like a good idea. Idea approved. We want to look at our thing. This might be the last thing we do for today. We have two turns left on this, but we want some recruitment. We have the Ocean Clan. The fleshy bits inside, but me like to eat the shell too. <laughs> of course you do. Why wouldn't you? So, the witch. Hag. The same thing, right? Something with fishy chunks. Can I... Let's see for science. How do I want to do this? Ba -ba -ba -da. Ah, what if I do this? This is shrooming awful. <laughs> I'm hoping... Actually, there we go. That looks like fishy chunks, right? That's a lot of replenishment. Jeez. So if we were to use, if we were to actually use this one, armor, don't care. We would want this one, region. And I guess we could put uh, this one. Okay, let's try to fishy chunks. Wait, what does this do? Nothing? Nothing. Yeah, we'll try this. Oh, elevenses. Well, second elevenses. Mildly upsetting. I didn't get to pop the recruit thing I wanted. But we should be... Yeah, we still have a high level of recruitment. But that is from global. It doesn't matter. So, goblins. Let's go ahead and post them here. It's actually scary how close they are in strength. So if we have four goblins and four fanatics, that should be sufficient, right? I'm special. <laughs> You're special, all right. We can get a rogue idol, finally. We won't do anything else yet. Um, I think goblin archers... Compared to the fanatics, they have... Wow. Really? One less melee strength. Or missile strength. The Night Goblin fanatics are literally... They just bring poison. And... <laughs> Poison and better melee stats, should things go awry. And of course, the thingy. Is that worth? Like, holy crap. And Vanguard deployment. How much? One? Oops. Oops. Reload of 6.6 .6 for that thing, and they have the same amount. Wait. What? Why do the Night Goblins have more attack than the Fanatics? I'm confused. It's definitely worth bringing the regular Night Goblins then over the... My confusion can wait. Just get rid of all of them. Fine. You fine. I'm... I'm the boost around here. Alright. We'll do that. Then next turn... I need to write it down so I don't forget. Next turn we'll try and increase our recruitment levels with food... So that we can... I want Sekasorto to have two... 
I should upgrade these. I want to take a sword though that have two black orcs that are just like following him around, like his pos like his personal I was gonna say personal posse, but personal bodyguards. Does that make sense? Arachnic, I need you to go defend our lands. The freaking rats are here, and they're going to pay for it. I want you to go here. The wood gook. Krokar is back. Hi, Krokar. Did you not learn your lesson? <sighs> what a lesson we'll teach you. So yeah, that'll go away. That means we end turn. And we will begin next time with an end turn phase. Ah, uh, we're getting there. How close are you? Just upgrading stuff. Um, close enough. I might upgrade this. Oh, oh, that's Lord Recruit rank. Okay, I thought that was like faction recruit rank. Which will explain why we had more recruitment, but it's not. We're fine. I can't wait to destroy all, literally all of these and put in gold buildings. It's going to be a glorious day. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Next time we shall begin with an end turn phase as the lizard thing's days are numbered. Three settlements remain. And we've already begun our war against the rats. The Skaven. Did we get anything from the Skaven? Rage rank 15 with an orc shaman. I'm working on it. Well, if we do, we already have it. So, we'll just kill him for good measure. Remember, just as a final refresher, our goal for the series, unite the Southlands, go to boys. And then, march forth to Ulthuan and short-ish version, if things, if my schedule gets really packed, complete the battle for Tor Ovres, kill the Grim Warden, and basically win the campaign for Grom. Otherwise, cover all of Uthuan in a green tide, take it over, and then we'll control two continents, and we'll call that a series with Grom's victory. Just as a fresh reminder. So I hope that you look forward to that eventuality, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>